Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to create this effect of a broken text graphic. So let's start. First thing I'm gonna do is I put it aside so we can work side by side. And the next thing we are going to be doing is writing exactly this. Bro, okay, that's a bit too big. So I'm gonna make it smaller. Something like this. Okay, so because the tracking, which is the separation between each letter, it's a bit too much, uh, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Something like. Yeah, I think this could work. Okay. Now we have our first part written. Oh, also, of course. Well, I think I'm gonna make it separate. I'm gonna just take this, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm, oh, and I'm going to write here this bit. I'm gonna put it like this. So, now that we have this, I went to Google and I looked for, well, in this exercise, I just have these pictures, this picture that I liked. Now I'm gonna choose this one, which also has some nice hues to it. I came to Unsplash and just chose a random picture I felt was nice. So I take it and I come back to my canvas and I paste it. So I did it small, so I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna, well, probably I don't even need to give it an angle, but I just did, so. <laughs> I'm gonna mask it in and copy paste in it. I'm gonna mask it in, and so we have this. Now, just remember if you want to move um, one of the side of the text because I separated it, at least just be careful that you have to move both of them so, so it, it moves consistently. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I find something I like more. Well, ah, I think this is fine. I mean, to make you see the exercise, how it's done, I think that's enough. Okay, so we have this part done. So the next thing is going to be making a copy of this and we leave it on one side, somewhere even here, somewhere here. And we are going to be taking the pen tool and clipping. Uh, it's good that you don't have a color here, you don't need it, but it will work the same. So we make this, you can do the cut, the, the broken part as you want, something like this. Now this shape here needs to be clipping the text. So we select the text, which is here, and we're gonna clip it inside this shape we have above it. See, we just drag it like this. It's not a mask, it's a clip, clipping. Okay, so we put it there and we have the first bit. Oh, oh, be careful not to grab it if you're gonna drag it around, not to drag this part, but to drag the mother of it, okay? Which is this. So we're gonna put it here. Now we bring back the other portion we copied before and we're gonna put it on top. We're gonna make it a bit transparent by pressing five on the keyboard, for example, and we're gonna put them overlapping so we can see that we are more or less yeah making them perfectly overlapped now we press p we select the pen tool and we repeat mm -hmm. we repeat what we did before like this like this like this what we're doing now is creating the um, the other uh, part of this broken text. And again the same. We take the text and we clip it inside. And we also select the image and we bring the opacity back to 100%. Now you could simply adjust this in a way that maybe works better for you just make some corrections here if you don't like the way it came out you always can can amend it 
later on. Okay, let's leave it like this for the time being. Obviously, now we if we select say this bit, yeah. So these bits, let's just close it. We move it, we give it an angle like so, and we give this one also a bit of an angle. Something like, like this. And again, I'm going to correct this so it looks better. Well, these things you have to fix or amend later on. And so we have this part of the um, broken text. Now we're going to do the same. We have our copy here. So what we're going to be doing first is again the same. Something like this. And again, I repeat, it's better not to have any color. We take this, we clip it in. See what I mean? Now I had this color in this text and I can see this nasty thing we don't want it so out with it now we take the other one we overlap it and i'm going to time lapse this part because it will be otherwise too long good so we have this now now you see here i put some more realism by adding some effects you can see in here well what i did is basically i came to the effects panel and i said i want some um outer shadow so we're gonna make this, um, just make sure this is not in multiply. <clears throat> so now we have some outer shadow here. I'm gonna give it some different parameters so it looks better. Something like this and probably a bit more realistic if, oh my God. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, it looks a bit better. I'm gonna turn this around like so. So it casts a shadow over the the other side, the other part of the of the text, and it looks a bit better. But anyways, um, this is just a demonstration. Um, it's up to the artist to <laughs> just make it look exactly accurate and, and nice as it should. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you how to do to make the effect of a broken text. I'm sure somebody else may come and say like, oh, I do it like this or like that. There are many ways, I'm sure. Uh, so show me or ask me. If you have some doubts, subscribe, like, kiss me, and I kiss you. Mwah. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.